you know what? I think today I'm going to change the wig game. Sometimes you just need a small change to make the huge difference. Today we're trying out a pixie cut. I'm going to show you how I customize this wig from start to finish just to make it my own style. Be sure to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Thumbs up the video, leave a comment, and let's jump right in. Let's discuss the details on this wig. This is a pixie cut with a curly texture. It is 100% human hair, 150% density, and a 13 by four lace cap. Not only is this wig convenient, it is very affordable. And if you check the link in the description box, it will be linked down there along with a discount code to save you more. Let's jump right into the styling. Girl, so straight out the box, I already knew that I was going to take this wig to the next level. Already, the wig is so convenient. It comes with these beautiful curls. So I didn't really need to do much except for wet it and put it on. However, me being me, I wanted to add my own touches to it because I know I need this wig to frame my face and just look really good. So if you want to, you can go ahead and tweeze the hairline a bit like I'm about to do. This will soften it up a bit around that hairline and just give a more natural flow. But girl, to be honest, straight out the box, I didn't know what I wanted to do with this wig, but I was up for the challenge and I was like, I'm going to try it out. I'm going to try something different. This wig is not only convenient, but it's so affordable. And with the style being curly, it's like one of those wigs that you just wet and go. If you are looking for your wig that you can wear to work or that you can pop on for a vacation, this wig is it. Now I'm tweezing the hairline because like I said, I want it to fit my style. You don't even need to do that but for me personally this is what I need to do just so it can soften up that hairline a bit now this is how much hair I'm taking out probably just a little bit more the color of the wig is brown as you see however if you click the link in the description to the wig it's going to take you to the natural color 1b black or dark brown wig I personally request my colors because I know this color works well for me now, upon trying this wig on, I did notice the lace was a bit whitish against my complexion. So I am going to tint the lace with a bronze color so that it can match my skin a lot better. That's such a simple step. If you ever have that problem, it's so easy to correct just by using a lace tint. By the way, this week I've been rolling out so many videos for you all that is so full of tips. I even showed you all how to create my nails. So make sure you go check out those videos if you have not seen them. There is playlists on my channel. Just click my name. Now I'm just adding the even tinted lace to the knots just to cover them. All right, so for the styling, I could have just wet this hair and just went on about my business. However, I wanted to see how it took heat. I wanted to do the heat test. This is 100% human hair. So I wanted to see if I could change it up um, and add curls or whatever. So what I'm going to do is set a side parting and I'm going to take my hot comb to the hairline to press it out a bit and straighten it and to push that hairline back. And of course, the hairline is looking really good since I tweezed it. Now I'm just going to go ahead and add curls in the front only. I'm not adding curls to the back because it's so much shorter. You can curl it if you want to, but I'm not going to. I'm going to use the smallest barrel flat iron that I have to create the curls. This specifically is made for shorter hair. I will have it linked in my Amazon storefront. If you guys want any products that I'm using, Please check the storefront on my Amazon. I put everything there so that you all can easily find it without having to go through link after link after link. All right, so the link will be in the description box. This hair definitely passed the heat test. As you saw, I put my flat iron to it and I also put the hot comb and the hair is definitely still good. I actually feel like adding the curls gave the hair a little bit more shine and made it a bit more smooth because a lot of times in a curly state, it can just be a tad bit dry, maybe because of the color that I chose. However, so far so good. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
if you're wondering what I did to the back, all I did was add some hair mousse to the hair just to make the curls a bit more defined. And that's all I'm gonna do for the back. Now, of course, with the convenience of this wig, you do not need to glue it down. You can if you want to. You absolutely can. However, I don't feel like it's necessary. There's combs in the wig. There's an adjustable strap. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and just remove this extra lace from around the hairline. I think it's very important to make sure you cut around that ear properly. I do have videos detailed on how to do this. Check the description box below. A style like this needs some type of hair edges. Now, yesterday I did a video on how to create soft, wispy edges. Definitely check out yesterday's video for a more detailed look on how to create this. Um, but I'm just going to create them on just one side of the wig because I feel like most of the hair is going to be pushed to the other side. So this is like a hack. If you just want to be lazy, okay? Now sometimes I do that. <laughs> If you haven't left a comment already, just tell me how you feel about the short styles. What's the shortest style you have worn on a wig? Already, she is just cute. I absolutely love this style. It's just, when I tell you so pretty, it just gives you that sophisticated vibe, gives you that she's sexy, she's confident type of vibe and I just l really like this style a lot. So I'm gonna continue to play with the curls and the hairline until I get it to where I need it to be. I think it's very important to just play with the hair until you find what looks good for you. And that's what I do with all of my wigs, not just this one. So that's what you're gonna see me do and I'll be back to you guys in a second. Keep on watching. So this style is now complete. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Again, be sure to thumbs up the video, share this video, and also leave a comment. I appreciate you guys so very much, and I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Stay safe. Mm -hmm.